So this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the luck? Come on, let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code, Wolf. It's Windows Pro time. Righto, tell you their champs now. The new XPS 15 9590 should be out. Well, the latest news is should be out end of this month, early next month now. It was supposed to be mid this month. That's clearly not happening. They do have the new Alienwares out now. So the M15, M17, you can get those now. The one with the same design language as the Area 51, which I, of course, now have in my hands. Not the M15, M17, the Area 51 I'm talking about. But anyway, the product page is up. So let's have a look. And there's some interesting things to know about this. Um, yeah. What's going on with this Ava? She must work, or he, I don't know if it's he or she, must work so hard because she's on every single web page. All right. So they have discounts on the current model. So if you want a discount, it's a good time to buy the older model. So really, unless you really want an OLED panel or you want eight cores, I do recommend probably getting the older model. Like, seriously. But anyway, let's have a quick look. You can see it starts at four pounds, 1.8 kilos, same sort of thing. But let's get into the real deal when it comes to the display. Yes, we have 4K display, yes. And with 6 million more pixels than Full HD and 3 million more pixels than the MacBook Pro. Yeah, you take that MacBook Pro. Yes, everything is nice and beautiful and sharp. That is true on the 4K displays. They have Dell Cinema. They are tuned for like watching Netflix and stuff like that. They do look awesome like that. And what do we got down here? Okay, this is the interesting part. Okay, 1650. Now with the 1650, I've done a gaming review of the MacBook Pro, which has Vega 20. And I... I was getting like a fire strike score that was faster than this so laptops that have been on notebook check uh, they've tested the 1650 and, and even the results like nvidia released the actual vega 20 in a macbook pro and you can imagine if they had that vega 20 in a pc that could cool things better it would even be better performance it was actually beating the 1650 so you know what i'd really love to see a vega 20 in the xps 15 but i have some sort of feeling that um there's some sort of deal going on or maybe it's just too hard to implement you know two sort of motherboards it might need or something like that the logistics or engineering of it or maybe nvidia say hey if you want rebates you want first dibs on our processors they tacitly imply that hey you won't get it unless you put our products in your premium products or maybe there's something like that but this is the interesting part. Now I'm going to have a look what these asterisks mean. Let's zoom in a little bit. All right. So work all day. You're experienced the longest life in a 15 inch laptop. Yeah, whatever. XPS 15s have good battery life, especially if you've got the full HD. Now 97 watt hour battery. Yes. So they're saying 20 and a half hours streaming Netflix or something like that. And 14 and a half hours if you're doing Word, Excel productivity stuff. Now that's the full HD. Now the Ultra HD, so the 4K Exo panel in 100% Adobe RGB panel gets 13 hours and 22 minutes streaming and 9 hours and 22 minutes productivity. That's awesome. Of course, I'll be testing that out. But the interesting thing here is, look at the OLED. Streaming on OLED, 7 hours, 23 minutes. That's much less than the 13 hours you're getting on the Ultra HD. So look at that, 13 hours versus 7 hours. OLED using more power. But when it comes to productivity, 9 hours, 22 on the 4K LED and 9 hours, 23 on the OLED. So the OLED in productivity is the same as the Ultra HD LED model, but in streaming, it's like a lot less. It's seven hours versus 13 hours. So I don't know what that is. That's, well, there must be some reason behind it. Let's have a look at what these asterisks mean. Let's go down there. Can I click on them? Okay, tested. One terabyte, 16 gigs RAM, based on mobile mark battery test. For more information, it doesn't tell you what sort of brightness. Usually they do test these. You'll be able to replicate this, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it will be around the low sort of brightness set in there. So it's not going to be high brightness. So obviously, 
at the same sort of brightness oled for some reason unless this is a typo is getting a lot less battery life now i said when i was going to order the xps 15 that i would get the one with the best battery life but i know you guys want to see the oled so i'm in a hard position here so maybe i should get the oled let me know down there in the comments because really streaming i don't really care productivity is where i'm going to be using this thing mostly so maybe it's going to be around the same sort of battery life and productivity so that's interesting uh should be the end of this month it'll be us first of course you lucky guys in the us get it first and end of this month early next month coming out uh yeah i can't wait i can't wait anyway catch you in the next one guys tally ho